and welcome to MFC Online. In today's video, we will be talking about da -da -da -da, whoosh, making quantities. Whoop. First, let's review the four different types of coins that we use here in the United States. We have the penny, which is worth one cent. We have the nickel, which is worth five cents. We have the dime, which is worth 10 cents. And we have the quarter, which is worth 25 cents. Let's start by taking a look at the penny. With the penny, it's a unit, just like the units we use in our Montessori classroom. That means it stands alone and nothing else can fit inside of it. Let's look at the nickel next. The nickel is worth five cents. It's worth the same amount as our Montessori five bar or the same amount as five pennies. One, two, three, four, five. Five pennies equals five cents. The dime is next and the dime is worth 10 cents. 10 pennies can fit into the dime. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But guess what? That's not the only way we can make ten cents. We can also do it this way. One, two, three, four, five, five pennies, and then a nickel, which is worth five cents. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pretty neat, but that's not the only way we can make 10 cents. Last but not least, we can take two nickels. Five, 10. Those are all the different ways to make 10 cents. Last but not least is our quarter, which is worth 25 cents. And you guessed it, Exactly 25 pennies can fit into one quarter. One, two. Twenty-four, twenty-five. Of course, that's not the only way to make 25. We can also use our nickels. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. 25 cents, the same as our quarter. Now, of course, that's not all. We can also use our dimes. Dimes are worth 10 cents. 10, 20. Now, we don't have an extra five in dimes, so what we can do is say 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 25 cents made using dimes and pennies. But hold up, there's actually even another way we can make 25 cents, this time using dimes and a nickel. 10, 20, 25. There you have it. 25 cents, 25 cents, 25 cents, and 25 cents. Four different ways to make 25, but that's not all. Did you know that there are actually 13 different ways you can make 25, the same amount as a quarter? My challenge for you is to try it out. See if you can discover all 13 ways to make 25 using pennies, nickels, and dimes. I bet you thought that after that, this video would be over. Well, guess what? Not just yet. Next, we're gonna talk about quantities of coins. If you remember from a previous video on graphing, quantity means the amount of something. For example, let's take a look at what we have here. Here, we have one nickel and one 
penny. Let's see how much that would be. A nickel is worth five cents and a penny is worth one cent. Five cents plus one cent equals six cents. Six cents is the quantity of what we have. Let's try another one. Let's take a look at a dime and a nickel. Now we know a dime is worth 10 cents and a nickel is worth five cents. 10 plus five gives us 15. The quantity we have now is 15 cents. What if we left our dime here, but we changed out our, our nickel for two pennies? Well, now we have 10 cents plus one, two cents. 10 cents plus two cents gives us a total of 12 cents. The quantity we have here is 12 cents. Whoosh. Last but not least, let's take away our dime and our pennies and let's place a quarter for 25 cents and a penny for one cent. Now we have 25 cents plus one cent. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That gives us 25, 26. 26 cents. That's the quantity that we are left with on our rug. All right, this time it looks like we really are at the end of the video. So let's see how we can follow up this work. Whoop, bing. First, get a sheet of graph paper. Draw your margins and title it. Just like this. Put your title, Making Quantities with Coins, here. Then go ahead and trace your penny, your nickel, your dime, and your quarter on the back. Next, you're going to see what coins make the same amount as the penny, the nickel, the dime, and the quarter. And you're gonna trace those as well. We have five pennies, make one nickel, 10 pennies, five pennies and a nickel, and two nickels all make a dime. And here on the back, we have five nickels and two dimes and one nickel make a quarter. You just have to choose two different ways to make a quarter for the back. If that feels like it's too easy for you, don't worry. The other option is, without using the internet, on your own, see if you can discover and lay out all 13 ways to make a quarter. In other words, 25 cents. When you're finished, take a picture and share it. Once you have completed one of these two options, next, work with the quantity coin sets provided. There are many sets, so you can do them all separately or mix them up to create one big work. This work can be done over a few weeks and repeated as often as you'd like. That's all for this video. See you next time. Bye.